Hello everybody, today I wanted to do a products empties video. I have accumulated quite a few things. I have a big basket here that I just threw everything into. Um, I don't want to spend too much time talking on everything because I feel like we'll be here all day. But so I will try to go through things go through things kind of quickly. There are some things that are just like I don't have to say much. You know they're good. So Let's start off with Bath & Body Works soaps because I have four uh, Bath & Body Works soaps. I have the Papaya Sunset. Um, I think all the ones, yeah, all the ones I have in here are the foaming ones. And I don't know if I've said this before. I think, I, I feel like I probably have. Um, I love the foaming ones. I hate the gel ones that have the beads in them. I hate those. Mm, this smells really good. I think I was using this probably like in the bathroom. It's a really nice like fruity, tropical kind of scent. Really nice. Loved that. I'm sure they don't sell it anymore. These two I'm sure, oh wait a minute, are the last three all winter scents? No, these two are winter scents. Eh, sorry. Twisted Peppermint and Winter Candy Apple. It took me a while to get through everything and I actually have another Twisted Peppermint that I didn't get through. And um, I'm just going to save it for, you know, next Christmas, whatever. Mm, just really fresh peppermint, as it would suggest. The Winter Candy Apple. Okay, let's try that again. The Winter Candy Apple. Um, I really like this scent. This is one of my favorite, like, Bath & Body Works scents. Mm, it just smells so nice perfect for winter such a good wintry Christmassy kind of scent at least for me I really like and uh, andal what <laughs> I really like apple scents so this is right up my alley the last soap that I have is the white peach chardonnay this one they might still have available because this wasn't really like you know wintry they had like a wine collection this one was nice um yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's It does have a peach scent to it. Um, I'm not sure how to describe this, but it's pretty good. Let me see what it says. Crisp vineyard peach, chardonnay leaves, and vanilla orchard. That's funny. I wouldn't really say that I smell vanilla in this, but it's really nice. I really like that one. That was a good one for the kitchen because it was a little bit more fruity. Um, yeah, just worked a little bit better in the kitchen. So... The other thing that I will quickly discuss is my Batiste dry shampoo. I have medium brunette, which is the color I like, um, but I also have dark and deep brown. I decided to give this one a shot because I hadn't used it in a really long time and I didn't like it. Um, I feel like it's a lot thicker. It's hard to describe it. I don't like it compared to the medium brunette. I feel like they're different, which is weird because it really shouldn't be. But I feel like this one was a lot thicker in my hair and just felt like I could just feel it more. I could feel this. You can tell when you have dry shampoo in your hair. But this was like really thick. I don't like it. Um, I, I, don't, I didn't realize how much I didn't like it until I was using it. I'm sorry that I just dropped that and made all that noise. The other dry shampoo that I have is the Dove Hair Therapy Refresh Plus Care. Refresh and Recare. Refresh and Care. I can't talk today. Uh, volume dry shampoo. This is a really good one if you like if I can't get to Ulta and get Batiste then Dove is a good one to pick up and try out. I don't mind the scent. It's um it kind of reminds me of like probably like what some people's clean laundry smells like so it's not a bad scent. It's not I mean I use scent free stuff so laundry stuff that is. But that's kind of what it reminds me of. Not a bad scent. The next thing that I have in here is the L'Oreal Boost It Blowout Heat Spray. I don't really know that I can say too much about this because I feel like with heat sprays it's really hard to really tell if it's doing anything unless it's really not doing anything, unless it's really bad. But I didn't really notice anything with this and I think, I feel like I liked the smell of this. No, it wasn't this. This just smells like a hair product, whatever. It was good. Took me a really long time to get through. The next thing that I'm pulling out is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist. Because we love that word. Daisy won't stop crying. <laughs> he left <laughs> to go to work and she's just uh, stressed out. She's just stressed. Okay, anyways, love this conditioner. 
really, 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 really good. I continue to purchase it over and over and over and over again. And I will continue to do that because I love it so much. It's so easy and so hydrating and it's really good for my hair. Love it. Cannot say enough about it. Um, here I have a Hask, a Hask shampoo. She just left the room so now I can talk. It's the Argan Oil from Morocco uh, Repairing Shampoo. That's really about all it says. It's in the, the, I think each one has like a different color going on. This is the blue one. I really liked this. I felt like I could notice a difference. I was switching between two different shampoos, the other one I still have. Um, I feel like I could notice a difference when on days when I would use this one opposed to the other one that I'm using. So, and it was a good difference. So I definitely want to repurchase this. Really like it. Might try out some of the other ones. Like, I don't know what the other ones are, but I might try out some of the other Hask shampoos because I really liked that. I think that might be all of the hair care that I have. Um, these two are acne wipes. I use acne wipes, especially in the summer. I use them morning and night. I feel like these really help combat my acne. Um, I still have acne. I'm still going to have breakouts. Even though I'm using these, like it's just bound to happen. But I feel like these really help. Um, in this winter, I only use it once a day, and in the summer, because I'm a bit oilier, I can use them twice a day. This is the Oxy one. <clears throat> this is the Clearasil one. I did actually repurchase the Clearasil one, but I really just get whatever's at Walmart. It really doesn't matter to me too much as long as they're an acne one. There aren't a whole lot to pick from when you go to the store, so it's really not that difficult. Uh, I have two lotions. I have a foot cream by Neutrogena, which took me a while to use because I'm a little lazy when it comes to foot cream. This was really good though, really liked this. Um, it has like a weird scent, but it really just didn't matter to me because what I like to do is I like to take foot lotion, put that on my feet at night, put socks over top and go to sleep like that. Like it's not comfortable, but I can get used to it. Um, but this really helps keep my feet moisturized. That was a really good foot lotion. This lotion is like, <laughs> it's a mess. I can't even get it to like stand up straight. Mm. Anyways, this is the Aveeno Skin Relief Hand Cream Intense Moisture. This was a really good one. I didn't repurchase it though. I think I got something else, but I think this was my second one of uh, this hand lotion. Really good. It's a good um, heavier, thick, thicker, lotion so it's something that I put on at night not during the day I put it on at night and then go to sleep so that's when I can handle like a thicker lotion you know what I mean I don't know if you know what I mean I can't even get this open I don't remember the scent I don't really think it had much of a scent it's not it's like I come off okay just forget that on to the next thing um this is the Aveeno again Aveeno smart essentials daily moisture She's interrupted me so much. Smart Essentials Daily Nourishing Moisturizer with Sunscreen SPF 20. I don't know why I'm smelling it because I've never noticed this to have a scent. This was really good. This was something that I used in the morning and I'm not sure if I want to repurchase it or not, but I did really like it. It took me quite a while to get through this tube. It's 2.5 ounces. I do like that it has a pump. It kind of watched something come out. It kind of was like not coming back up. It was just staying down. So I kind of figure it's all gone because I mean there's no like getting in there. I just lost my place again. This dog is killing me today. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it or not. I just can't make up my mind. There were like a couple others that I was thinking about trying but I'm also almost out of my night cream. So I might just try something new there and keep buying this because the SPF 30 is really nice to have. It's definitely very handy. But, but yeah, I really liked that moisturizer. Like a lot, a lot. It was really good to put my makeup over top of Worked Wonders. Loved it. This is a uh, Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy, one of their uh, body washes. This is the Stress Relief Elip Eucalyptus Tea. Eucalyptus? I don't know what I was saying. Eucalyptus Tea. Really like this. I like their Stress Relief line. Because I feel like there's a couple of other scents in the Stress Relief. 
um, but I really like this, especially for like morning. Just something about using a really potent shower gel in the morning when you're taking a shower is really nice and like refreshing and wakes you up. Love that one. Didn't repurchase it yet, but I have a really big bottle of shower gel from Soap and Glory that I'm still trying to work through. <laughs> one of these days I'll get through it. This is the Tarte Little Mist Sunshine. I did actually manage to get through this. There might be like a teeny tiny little bit in here, but it kind of just figured it wasn't worth it. When I was spraying it, it wasn't really coming out as a mist. Towards the end, it was like this stream. It didn't look very good, so I stopped using it. But this was really nice. I did not repurchase it though. I did go back to the lotion. I can't make up my mind which one I like better. I don't feel like this was getting my skin quite as dark as I wanted it to. That could have been on my end or my part. I'm not really sure. Um, did I hate it? No, it didn't do anything wrong. It was good. It was really good. I think if you're, if you have, um, like, meaty, if you already have some kind of color going on on your skin, it might not do a whole lot for you, but if you're pale, it will. Uh, so keep that in mind. I don't feel like it gave me a ton of color, which was kind of disappointing. And I didn't really think about it until I was quite a ways through the bottle. I was like, you know what? Like, I'd look at my legs, and I'm like, they're not actually that dark, but that could have been me. I probably should have been using it more often, and I don't think I was using it often enough. This is my, one of my favorite primers, but I haven't repurchased it. I've been using other things, which is really quite surprising, um, but I think this will always kind of be a favorite. I will probably end up going back to it at some point. This is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion prep spray. I really like this as a face primer because it's not, um, I don't like the silicone-y feeling and it doesn't leave that. It leaves your skin really dry and I, not dry in a bad way, but like sticky, like ready to put makeup on top of it, if you know what I mean. But I really like that. I love this stuff. I can't say enough about it. So the fact that I haven't repurchased it says a lot <laughs> about the other thing that I've been using. But, um, I'm sure I'll go back to this without a doubt. I will be buying it once again, don't worry. I have a few more makeup products to talk about. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. Couldn't really see that just there. I have it in the shade W2. I have repurchased this. I really like this foundation just for something quick and easy to use. It has a little pad has a nice little mirror right here. I think it's it's quite a large mirror and it's very clear, very clean. It's very nice, love it. Uh, you just pop this open and then you have your sponge there. The only downside that I'm finding with these, and I haven't used um, a high-end cushion foundation, like a more expensive one. I've only used a couple of drugstore ones. They dry out pretty quickly and then you're left with nothing. So stuff like this isn't going to last very long, especially it's not like it just waits for you. If you're not using it every day, it's going to dry up pretty quickly and you're not going to be able to maybe use all of it if you want to say that. I feel like if you're using it every day, you're going to get the most out of it. So keep that in mind. But this is such a really good everyday kind of foundation. Um, gives, a, hmm, I'd say like a medium coverage. It's really nice. I, I really like the finish that it gives. Picking out your color, difficult. You have to go by this the color of the sticker. That's not always the easiest, but I did manage to pick out a pretty good color. I don't really know if it matches me when I'm tan though. Probably not. The next thing I have is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. I have it in transparent but it is like pretty much all pan. There is some makeup there, but I felt like I was getting to the point where I was just kind of ruining my brush. You know what I mean? Like digging into the pan. I felt like I was just ruining my brush, so I gave up on it, and I purchased a new one. I love this stuff. It's so good, especially now that it's summer and my skin is a little bit oilier. This really helps um, combat all of that. Really good. I've never tried one of the colors though. Maybe I had like a long time ago. I wish this could be transparent. I don't know. That way it doesn't mess with the foundation that I have on. This, oh, okay. I dropped that. 
This is the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is no stranger to my product empties videos. This is in the shade Medium Deep, and I just love this brow gel. I fill in my brows with powder, and then I go over with a brow gel, and most definitely a tinted brow gel, because I really need the extra color. I'm not really looking for hold, so I really... My eyelashes... My eyelashes... <laughs> my eyebrow hairs are not very long. I'm looking for color. So if you're looking for something that holds really well, I don't pay attention to that, so I don't really know that I could speak on that behalf. But it's really good for giving some color to my brows and really helping them look, um, just be a little bit more noticeable, the actual hairs, instead of just seeing a lot of powder. So I really like that. Keep repurchasing it. I don't really know if I'll ever try anything else. This last thing, yeah, it's the last thing, is probably the one thing that I'm the most proud of. I do still have the box because I heard that you're supposed to keep perfumes um, protected and in boxes it helps them last longer. This is a perfume. I used a perfume up. This is crazy to me. This is the Fresh Sugar Lychee Perfume. It is 30 millimeters. Milliliters? Milliliters, not millimeters, Liz. I absolutely adore this scent. Um, I really did want to purchase another fresh perfume, um, but I want to go, I'm not sure if I want to get the same exact one. I might want to try a different one by the Fresh uh, line. Uh, so of course I want to go to the store and to get to Sephora isn't quite the easiest thing for me to do. I don't frequent like going to the Sephora store. Um, I'm more likely to order online. And this is not something that you order online unless you're repurchasing, but oh, I just love the scent. It's such a nice, light, fresh scent as it would imply. It's maybe a little bit floral. It doesn't really say anything on the box, so I have no way of like telling you anything about it. It just has the ingredients. But I, for one, I'm just impressed with myself that I used up a perfume, but I just, I adore the scent and it's sweet and it's fresh. Um, I think I was putting this away in the winter though. It's more of like, it's a really good like spring scent. Not quite for the fall and winter. Good for spring and summer. It's kind of, but I mean you could pull it off the other times of the year because it's so like light and like fresh. It's tent. I'm just saying the same things over and over again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, that was everything that was in my basket. The only thing left was the box. It is empty now. I, um, I'm really happy to do this. I love doing empties videos because it makes me feel good to like have used up all of this stuff. It's really like a feeling accomplished. Um, and it had been a while, probably like a couple months, maybe a little bit longer than that. I'm not sure. Anyways, I will leave everything listed down below. It's going to be a long list, but I'm going to do my best. Hopefully I won't miss anything. If you would like to hit the subscribe button and keep up with all my videos, you can do that. You can also hit the thumbs up button if you liked this video. You can also follow me on Instagram at HairByLizzyBug if you would like to. I try to post on there daily. I've been slacking a little bit lately, but I try like daily or every other day, something like that. But anyways, I hope you liked this video, and until next week, bye! Don't... Don't... Mm, she's got her foot on the court. Mm. Hello! Bye, guys.